How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today what we're going to be doing is comparing two different types of soils to each other for a microgreens grow. Now I had a subscriber actually ask about a soil that we use in the past and compare it to a soil that we've been using recently. And the soil that we use in the past is this Roots Organics, the microgreen blend, and they wanted to be compared against this Burpee Organic um, soil that we've been using recently. Now this is a potting mix right here and the Roots Organic is actually more of a seed starting mix so it's got a lot of perlite mixed into it. So let's go ahead and jump into this experiment and get it started. Okay, so for this experiment, I'm gonna use some bootstrap farmer trays. So I'm gonna get two trays right here, probably for the Burpee Organic. Let me set these down. And then I need two more trays of a different color to identify my micro. And then I need the two green trays for the other soil blend. All right, so I got my trays pulled down here. I've got my mesh trays that are gonna go inside of my Bootstrap Farmer uh, solid trays. So let's do, we're gonna do one and two in the orange trays. So you'll notice these have little numbers on them. So three will go with the green, four will go with the green, and then two, bam. Okay, so I have got all of these trays now laid out and ready to start an experiment. So for the green trays, Let's do the uh, Roots Organic because it's green and it'll match and it'll keep it easy for me. And then for the uh, Burpee Organic Potting Mix, those are going to go into the orange. All right, so let's go ahead and add some soil to these trays. So again, green are gonna be the Roots Organics. Got my little scoopy in here. And what we need to do is six cups into each of these. Now it's probably impossible to tell with all this dirt on there, but right about here, is the two cup mark for this. So I'm like a hair over two cups, but we're gonna basically put six cups of uh, this medium into each one of these. So you guys can see right there how much perlite is really in this Roots Organic right here. You can see all that little white stuff on the surface that basically just helps with aeration and actually helps with water retention too. Perlite does hold a surprising amount of water in it. Now let's go ahead and get some of this. Yeah, it just literally launched a piece of soil into my mouth. I don't know how that happened. Bam, so same thing into these orange trays. We're gonna get six cups of this Burpee organic potting mix. So immediately you guys can see how much less perlite is in this compared to the uh, Roots Organic. I mean, just look at that color difference there. So I'm noticing a lot of uh, Coco Coir in this Burpee's Organic. So it does help a lot with water retention, but it definitely doesn't have as much uh, perlite or aeration as the Roots Organic does, which is what is really common in a lot of seed starting mix. Generally, you'll see a lot of seed starting mixes look like this right here, this Roots Organics, where there's just tons of perlite. Personally, I just kind of prefer just going straight to a potting mix. I feel like it does a better job sometimes at seed starting. So I have now got uh, the six cups in each one of these trays of their specified uh, soil. So again, this is the burpees. Now all I need to do is kind of break up any clumps like this and just do my best to kind of smooth this out as best as I possibly can. So again, any clumps like this, you just grab them, kind of crumble them with your fingertips because otherwise the roots won't really want to grow into that. And if there's a big piece of wood or anything like this, I like to take those and I'll throw it in my... That was a terrible shot. Well, that's my compost bin and I just completely missed and it ended up there. All right, on to the Roots Organic. Now it's spreading this guy out, which feels a lot easier. And actually as fine as this is, I worry about this falling through the mesh. So what I'll do is I'll lift that up um, after I've kind of smoothed this out a little bit. And let's take a look at the uh, how much of this has fallen through. Oh, that is a rock. Wow. Okay. I'll try to crush that like it's compost or something. Much better shot. I have now got all of these uh, with their designated soils. Got our Roots Organic and I've got the Burpee Organic potting mix right here. So just taking a look at these two, I mean, you can see the difference in the quantity of perlite. I feel like this is like at least 50% or higher of perlite, whereas this is maybe like 5%. So, I mean, that's just a huge difference right there. And something I noticed about this too, and you'll see as soon as we go to seed this, uh, the seeds are basically gonna disappear into uh, the medium. I just realized how nasty my hands are. Let me go wash these here in just a second. Um, so you'll just see the seeds kind of disappear because it's so chaotic right here with all the perlite and the brown and everything. So it's gonna be really hard to visually track those. 
versus on this, I'll be able to see my seeds a lot easier. All right, let's go with, uh, bam, Kohlrabi White Vienna. I also have all these seeds over here, but this is what I want to use for this experiment. So I'm gonna use probably, let's do uh, 10 grams or about one tablespoon of this per tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that seeded. I need to kind of stack them a little bit out of my way. So let's do that. Bam, so one tablespoon was 11.5 grams. That's what I'm gonna stick with for all these trays. I'm just gonna use my hand right here. I'm gonna do a back and forth motion. And I cannot hardly even see where the seed is going because it blends so well into this medium. So I'm just kind of doing this for muscle memory about how I know to spread seeds evenly on a tray. And just kind of hoping I get pretty even distribution here. All right, now it's time for the next tray. So I like to, whenever I'm seeding up multiple trays, I'll just kind of stack them on top of each other just to make it a little bit easier. So again, same thing, except I'm able to actually see where my seeds are going. So I'm just gonna kind of do my best again to get this as even as possible. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, now it is time to water all of these. So let me get this pulled off. I'll show you guys how we water. Okay, so as for watering, what I use is this little uh, Scott's pump right here. We got this from a uh, local hardware store and it works really well just to, no. I like it because it has several settings. It's got cone, stream, and fan. And fan is actually really good for hitting the whole tray at once. But I actually prefer um, the cone just overall. I feel like it's a lighter mist. So what we need to do is just give a nice watering to all these trays. And the whole idea is to get it wet, but not overly saturated. You don't want any pooling or anything like that, but you do want enough for these seeds to uh, germinate nicely. And now this one, so you can't, let me show you the difference here. You can probably spot the seeds on this, the little round seeds right there. And on this medium, it's so much harder. I mean, you can kind of see it right there, but like from far away, you can't hardly tell where any clumping is potentially at versus on this. I can kind of see it from far away. At least I've trained my eyes to. So again, same thing. We need to get this watered nicely. So I noticed that this roots organic can be a little hydrophobic. Like it doesn't want to accept water if it's dried out for a while. So I did kind of moisten it uh, when it was in the bag before I started the video. Just to try to knock down because it can be very powdery as well because it has a lot of that perlite so it creates a ton of dust unless you kind of moisten it just a little bit. One of the hard things with this medium is it doesn't change color like seeing a bunch of cocoa does where it gets much darker. This just looks equally as white as it did. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start stacking these. So we got tray number one at the bottom, tray number uh, four which is the um, roots on top of it. Go ahead and keep watering. And the last tray is going on top. So we've got uh, burpee organic, Roots organic, burpee organic, roots organic. That way we kind of divvy up the weight a little bit. Now what we need to do is actually put a weight on top of this. So I'm gonna put another 10, 20 no hold tray directly on top of this. And then we're gonna grab two of these seven pound pavers. And I like to place them in opposite directions. So I got the fat side on this side and the fat side on the opposite side over there. That way it hopefully just helps even out the weight a little bit. All right, so now I just need to get this put onto the shelf. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it down here on the shelf next to my other germinating trays. Try to do this one-handed-ish. All right, so now I've got that placed on the shelf for germination. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out tomorrow I'm gonna give this another watering. I'll probably also come out tonight and give it another water if it needs it. And then I will see you guys as soon as it's time to put these into blackout and then into the light. So I'll see you guys in a few days. All right, y'all, we are on day three for this roots versus burpee soil experiment. So I need to get all of these trays pulled off the shelf because they are starting to grow really tall. And I think we're actually gonna put them straight into the light and jump over the blackout stage. So let's get these pulled off and take a look. All right guys, so here's our trays. And I pulled the weight off just to make it a little bit easier to move this one-handedly. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. All right, let's take a look at our growth here. So this is one of the Roots uh, organic tray and I could tell that because of that super excessive amount of perlite on it. And the growth is looking really solid and I think we are actually good to introduce this straight into the light because the things have been growing a little bit faster in our growth space recently, and I think we can just jump over the whole um, blackout period. 
So what I will do is I'm gonna take this first top tray, this is tray number three. I'm gonna slide this on the shelf and all of these are gonna go underneath these three Barina 20 watt LED lights. And I really like these lights because they are cheap to buy and they are cheap to run. So the second one, this is the Burpee Organics. I can tell because there is a lot less of that perlite and that soil there. And again, overall, the growth on this looks really, really solid. I'm very happy with this. Burpee, roots, burpee, roots. And that's how we're gonna do it for this experiment. I do that because uh, the fan is positioned on one side over here and I just try to balance out the test a little bit instead of having both the uh, roots or both the um, burpee trays on the same side. Just balancing it a little bit helps even out the test. So looking at all these side by side underneath the light, I feel like the growth is really quite even across all of these trays. And I think that this is gonna be a great competition. This tray number one right here seems to be uh, the slowest tray, but I think it still stands a very strong chance. So what I need to do now is get all of these trays bottom watered. And since this is all soil, I am not gonna use a nutrient water source. I'm just gonna use plain old unfiltered tap water for this. And starting off, I'm probably gonna do about, this is one and two thirds of a cup of water here. And again, I'm just using plain unfiltered uh, tap water. And then to bottom water, all we do is we lift up a tray, pour that water into it. And since there's little slits in this tray, it'll absorb all that water up into the soil via capillary action. Okay. All of my trays are watered. Now it is time to just leave these in the light. So I'll see you guys here in a few days for an update and then on harvest day. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. We are on day 10 of this roots versus burpee soil challenge. And I'm really excited to see how this growth is looking. So let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at these. All right, you guys. So like I said, we are on day 10 of this experiment for the roots versus burpee challenge here for these soils and i'm gonna have you guys try to guess and see if you can remember which is which which colored trays are roots and which colored trays are burpee all right guys so let's go ahead and take a close look at all of these crops side by side so if you guys remember the orange trays are the burpee and the green trays are the roots organic the reason i know it's the roots is because there is a massive amount of perlite down there in the bottom compared to the tray over which is the burpee which has a lot less per perlite now looking at the growth on all of these i will immediately say that it seems like the roots seem to be a little bit more full in their growth they seem to have a little bit more mound to them uh, as you guys can kind of see up here in the front it just seems to have a bit more of that mounding to it than the burpee trays do now let's go ahead and take a look at this one here on the end and same thing with this one here on the end. It's just looking a little bit fuller than uh, the burpee tray next to it. So it seems like at first glance, the two roots trays are doing a lot better than the burpee trays are. Overall though, I think all of the growth on all these look really, really solid. And we're starting to see some true leaves, which means it is time to harvest. If you guys aren't familiar with what the true leaf is, it's right between these two cotyledons, that little, little tiny guy right there in between. And that is our true leaf, which means it is time to harvest these. So let me go ahead and get these pulled off the shelf and I will get to harvesting here. Before I harvest these trays, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button because it really does help out our channel. If you guys are feeling extra generous, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bells. That way you guys get notified whenever we release new videos like this one. Now it's time to get to harvesting. I think this crop is a little bit shorter than I'd like, but I mean, overall it is a good looking crop and we're seeing true leaves. So I think it is definitely time to harvest. And taking a look at the growth on this, I'm loving the colors. I think that we have really beautiful stems. The cotyledons look absolutely gorgeous. And overall, I think that this is a very incredible looking product. Very happy with it. Taking a look at the appearance after first cut. Let me knock these little stragglers out. Come on. Get out of there. So appearance of the tray number two for the burpee. Again, I'm loving it. I'm seeing some little purples in here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but we got some nice little purple stems down at the bottom. And again, overall, I am very happy with the growth on these. The cotyledons look nice and juicy and healthy and the right size. And overall, I think the product height is perfect. Taking a look at the first glance. Again, it's really quite short, but I'm actually happy with that. 
I think that this is still a really beautiful crop. I'm not seeing a whole lot of those purples like I am on the burpee trays. I do see one right here with a very strong purple in it. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. So again, happy with the appearance. I think that the cotyledons are really nice and dark and the size and everything on them looks perfect. So I'm very happy with that. Same thing I'm seeing with all the others. I really do love the appearance on this. I am seeing a little bit of purple down here, which is promising. And overall, again, I think that the coloration on the cotyledons is really nice and beautiful. And I think that this is a great crop. All right, I have finished harvesting all four of the trays. So let's go ahead and discuss the harvest weights. Now I did harvest these and place these in order. So this is tray one and tray two. Both of these are the burpee and then tray three and tray four, and both of these are the roots group. So tray number one was a harvest weight of 126, and then tray number two was 137 grams. Tray number three was 139 grams, and then tray number four was 151 grams. So the overall highest harvest weight was tray number four, and the highest group was the Roots Organic. Both of those trays beat out the Burpee Organic in harvest weight. Now let's go ahead and take another quick glance at the appearance. And there's really not too much to say here. I think that all the coloration seemed very similar on all of them. We did get a little bit of that purpling in some of the stems on some of these, and some of these just really popped out in a beautiful, beautiful purple. But again, overall, I think the appearance on all of these were amazing. And I would think that, I think that both the burby trays actually had more purple in their stems out of all of these trays that I could see present. So the winner of appearance is actually going to be the burpee trays. Now let's go ahead and do a taste test for this. I'm gonna call in a guest to taste test these for me. Mandy. What? What's up? I need you to do a taste test for us. Okay. Now I have placed these because I know how destructive you can get as soon as you get in here some <laughs> greens. What are you talking about? You start to just <laughs> jack them all. So I placed them in order here and you choose from this bottom, that's all your taste test. So okay. again, there are, there are just columns of one, two, three, four. So you choose whichever one you want to choose. Okie doke, I'm gonna start with this one because I saw a really pretty amount of purple there and I'm hoping this has a lot of flavor. So you saw that tray number three. Yes. So the flavor on that was actually pretty mild, um, but I think overall the flavor was really good. So let's move on to the next group. Yes. Group two had a ton more flavor. That really just kind of came in there was like, bam. Um, one thing that I'm kind of unsure of is I can't tell if I was tasting a very slight bitterness or not, but I still think the flavor was really good on that one. Good to know. That one, it had a ton of flavor, a ton of that brassica flavor, but then it immediately followed with a ton of bitterness as well. So that wasn't that enjoyable compared to the group before that. I kind of feel like that group and the first group might have been within the same group or something. I'm not really sure. It had, um, it was just very like plain on flavor, but also bitter. Okay, so groups one and four were bitter, two and three were better, and two was your favorite. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Okay, well, there we have it from Mandy. So she said two was her favorite, one and four were her least favorites. There was a lot of bitterness in those, and number three was her second favorite. Interesting though, because these two were both from the same soils and then these two were both from the same soils. So it seems like there was a mix on flavor there where two of the trays from each group or one tray from each of the groups had a bitterness to it. I don't know what could have caused that, but that is her assessment. So winner and overall flavor is the second tray right here, which is the Burpees Organic. All right, so let's go ahead and recap everything. Now the winner of appearance is the Burpee Organic Soil because we saw a little bit more of that purple in the stems, at least in our appearance group. As for the winner of Harvest Weight, that is the Roots Organic. That just did a killer job on the Harvest Weights and it crushed the other ones about, by about 10 to 20 grams, depending on which trays we compare it to. And then the winner of flavor is the burpee tray, though one tray from each of the soils did win. So that's kind of close to a draw, but Mandy said that tray number two was her favorite. So burpees is the winner there. All right, let's go ahead and talk about cost real quick before I choose an overall winner for this experiment. As for the burpee soil trays, each cup that I used of that soil was 22 cents. 
That means for all six cups, it was $1.32. As for the Roots Organic, it was 21 cents per tray. So it was one cent cheaper than the Burpee. And that brought our cost to $1.26 for the entire tray of that Roots Organic. Now it is time to choose an overall winner for this experiment. Personally, I'm gonna have to choose the burpee trays just because I prefer how the soil is compared to the roots. I hope that makes sense. Basically, it's the consistency of the soil is a lot better than what I find in the roots. The roots has a ton of perlite in it, which makes harvesting weird. Watering is really hard to tell when the medium saturated enough. And there's just a few other things around the medium itself that I just don't love compared to the burpee, which has a lot more of that kind of cocoa in it. And I will say the one thing I dislike about the burpee soil is the fact that it has lots of little chunks in it that have uh, like tree bark and things like that and little sticks. And that's kind of a, d a downside for the burpee. But overall, again, between these two, I'm going to choose the burpee because I just personally think that the flavor's better and I like working with the soil a lot more than the uh, Roots Organic. Kind of long-winded there. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this experiment. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and we'd love to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at On The Grow Farms and our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much, have a great day and keep on believing.